Hello everyone and welcome to today's video, a video that I don't feel like I've done a haul in a while, at least not a collective random haul like this, but oh I was so excited to put it together and I'm very excited to get my stuff unboxed, check it out myself, and also share it with you guys. I've got clothing, I have got entertainment, I have got jewelry, and makeup. And fake. <laughs> but what makes it extra 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 exciting is that this video has been very kindly sponsored by Rakuten! You guys know I love them. I have been using Rakuten for years and years and years. I've actually earned thousands of dollars getting cash back from Rakuten, doing the online shopping that I already do. And you can use it on top of any coupons or deals or offers that the actual website that you're purchasing from has. Rakuten is the largest cashback site. They partner with over 2,500, yes, that's 2,500 of the biggest name brands online. So I'm talking Sephora, I'm talking Ulta, I am talking Chewy, actually. <laughs> Speaking of my cat, Barnes & Noble, any of the places that I'm gonna be showing you stuff in my haul today from. They partner with Rakuten and it's amazing because like I said, these are shops that I already am shopping at. It is no extra work for me. It's nothing but cash back, coupon codes, and promos all for free. You can do it like me where you have a button installed on your browser so that while you're shopping, like I said, it'll blink at you so you definitely don't forget, but otherwise you can always just go through Rakuten's website, click on the site that you are wanting to shop at, and then it just starts your shopping trip and bada bing bada boom, it's exactly the same. You go to the same store, interface online and everything, Sephora doesn't look any different through Rakuten. <sighs> If you are just planning on doing any Black Friday holiday shopping of your own, just don't forget, you don't have to leave the comfort of your home to get those Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. You can stay in your PJs and shop online through Rakuten and get those deals plus get cash back. You can sign up by clicking the first link down in the description below of this video and you get a $40 sign up bonus when you make your first qualifying purchase. That's literally, you're already getting the cash back that you're gonna get through that qualifying purchase. And then on top of that, Rakuten is just like, here, have 40 bucks as well. It has done nothing for me other than earn me money, and I would love for you to do the same for yourself. So to start, a little something from Sephora. Nothing super special. However, it was special to me and I needed a refill, so I'd run out of my Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I love this stuff. It has saved my skin from many a blemish, and I love that they, particularly this brand, at least for this product, they make refillable bottles. So I've Still got my spray bottle from my first spray of this product that I ever purchased and this is just a jumbo size and then you dump it in to your old spray bottle and this uses less plastic that way and that sort of a thing so someone recently asked me about it when in your skincare routine do I use this I personally use this in the morning before I put on moisturizer and creams and whatnot so right after I wash my face I spray my whole face with I don't know five six sprays of this because it just feels so refreshing and lovely. Yeah, like I said, you still get to use on top of Rakuten's cash back, you still get to use promo codes and whatnot on the sites that you're shopping at. So with that Sephora order, I got a jumbo mini, whatever you're gonna wanna call this, it's a mini size of a makeup eraser. The premium sample, I love these. Anytime I see that Sephora is giving these away, I hop on it. Cause I just, I love the makeup eraser anyways, but especially this little baby size here, this is perfect for days like today where I'm wearing very minimal makeup, you know, just some concealer, mascara, that sort of a thing. I don't need a big towel to wipe down my whole face. This is just the perfect little mini size. It's so soft and I was just, I was really excited that they were offering that. So, you know, skincare, yay! I also, I do have some actual makeup to share with you guys, not from Sephora, but uh, I'm, I'm feeling quite naked here. I wanted to put on another thing that I got for this haul. Gorgiana! I have ordered from them before and I was really pleased with their jewelry and I have been wanting for quite a while now. There's actually quite a few different sets that I would have liked, but I decided to just treat myself to one set of their layering necklaces. This is the Parker layering set in gold. So you get a deal when you buy these together because otherwise they are 65 bucks a piece. But if you buy them together, it was just $108. And they, like I said, the jewelry that I have purchased from them has been quality 
hopefully it has lasted me. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it probably says this in the description on their website. <laughs> that these are two separate necklaces. I was hoping that it was gonna be one necklace combined so that they don't get all tangled when I wear them, but I don't know. Maybe that's something I'll be able to mastermind someday, hook them together, but it just comes with this plain kind of hammered, is that what it would be called? Tag necklace. And I feel it's like this with a lot of websites where like, I don't think this was meant to be quite this short, but your girl's got a thick neck, okay? <laughs> So whatever, and then we've just got a simple kind of rectangular chain gold necklace. Now this is an inch, I have never seen a clasp like this. Mm. Okay, cute. Oh, I love it. I'll probably put a little bit of an extension chain on this one, maybe even this one too. I don't know that I wanted it to be a choker choker, but ooh, I love it. Yay! Okay, now the next thing here, have you guys already seen it? A couple of you actually alerted me to this. I forget if it was Twitter, Instagram, either way. <laughs> I went ahead and I got the Wet n Wild Little Twin Stars collection here and I am so excited about it. I'm not on Wet n Wild's PR, but I think this is even called like the PR kit. You know, you can order those from different sites that do it. Like I know ColourPop, you can usually do that even if you are not an influencer. And then you get a discount. I mean, I didn't want everything from this set, but if I were to purchase separately everything that I wanted, it would have ended up costing me more than just buying the whole set. So like that would have been quite silly. <laughs> I am so excited! Glittery, sparkly Sanrio wonder that I am so excited to test out. So let me know. I mean, I'll probably do it even if you guys don't say you want it. <laughs> but like, let me know if you want a get ready with me where I test out all of these products. Because I know I'm excited about them. And I would like to share the joy with you all. Now the next thing here, moving on into some clothing, I cannot tell you the last time I shopped from either of these places, actually. Let's not get the mailing label in there, but like American Eagle Airy. It has been a minute, but I've been wanting to just get some new bralettes and whatnot, and they were having a sale on their bralettes where I think if you buy any bralette, you'll get free shipping. And then on top of that, depending on how many items you purchased, you get a certain discount as well. So if you purchase two items, you get 20% off your order. If you purchase three items, you get 25% off of your order. Order. So I had ordered two things. I wanted to try out a pair of their jeans because people talk about American Eagle jeans like they're the best thing ever created, but they just didn't fit me right. So those are getting returned. But the thing that I'm keeping, the thing that I want to buy in every single color that they have is this bralette. Dear busty ladies that want a supportive and pretty bralette. They're so hard to find, I'm telling you. I know you can get them from places like Torrid and whatnot, but like they're pricey. They usually only come in like one or two styles. And it's like, I just feel like all of the smaller busted people out there get access to really cute and pretty bralettes. And I'm like, why not the busty ladies? Well, Airy, it seems like with their bralettes, they make the same style just a little bit different differently for people who have a larger bust. So like this bralette for people under a certain cup size, I forget what it is, but it would just be a normal like triangle kind of a configuration, which I as a larger busted woman hate because <laughs> my boobs end up like flopping through them. They don't, but like, you know what I mean? You just feel like you're gonna flop out through the middle there. But if you do have a larger bust, like I said, they added this section here that holds your girls up or it aids in holding your girls up plus all of the strappiness it is so cute it is velvet i love this muted slate gray blue color it's really beautiful you know it's padded but you can take the padding in or out i shouldn't even say padded it's it's got a bra liner in there you know one of those triangle things but nice soft cotton on the inside so it's not itchy all of the crissy crossies in the back got it in a double XL and like I said I want to order this in all of the colors especially if they're still doing that sale because this is originally an almost $40 bralette that they sell it for anyways but with the discount and everything this was only $19 $19.18 plus on top of that I got the cash back from Rakuten that I got but like are you kidding me 
like I said, I need them in every color. Gorgeous. And now the other place that I got some clothing from is a site that I used to shop on all the time. I used to love mod cloth. I loved it. But it was so expensive and like I was shopping through mod cloth and I really liked mod cloth when I was an undergrad so like when I especially had no money. And then, you know, as the years went on through undergrad, I mean, I'm talking early undergrad, so like as the four years go on, it's like their prices kept rising and I felt like the quality of their clothes was going down and then the fit of the clothes just wasn't really working for me anymore. It was definitely made for a more idealized body type in that, you know, you would have the large bust but then a really tiny waist and really skinny arms and that has just never been my frame. <laughs> so like, it was just, it was getting tricky and way too expensive shopping through mod cloth but then I saw that they partner with Rakuten and I was like you know what maybe it's time to give them another chance especially because I've been getting a lot of ads for them recently on Instagram which I have no idea what sparked that but clearly Instagram somehow knew that I used to like mod cloth I really did because I loved the prints on their clothes I loved the kind of slightly vintagey aesthetic that some of their clothing had it was just unique and it was really cute but like I said there were some reasons why I stopped shopping there. But now I think I am once again an addict, especially right now. I want to go back on and see if I can find some more stuff because they are having their 40% off Black Friday sale. It's I'm pretty sure it's like 40% off of everything. I certainly got 40 off of everything. And then on top of that, I think they were 5% on Rakuten. So I got almost 50% off in total of these items. And that brought it to a price. I mean, they're still pricey, but like the stuff that I got anyways is actually really high quality. So to start, I got this really cozy sweater. This is so, it's like thick, but in a thin way. Like I don't think I'm gonna get crazy sweaty in this or anything, but it is super soft. It's like this nice mixture of a pastel pink with some lilac and baby blue. Like it's just, it's got a nice collection of just soft, lovely colors and this came in at least a couple different colors I think. I was very torn on whether I should get this in this color or navy but I was like you know what I've got navy sweaters let me try this one and I'm glad I did because like I said this is beautiful and then it's especially beautiful because on the front BAM we've got sequins and rhinestones. <laughs> I just loved this, it's so cute. We've got all of these sequined stars, we've got rhinestones, it is just glitz and loveliness all around. I think I might add a couple of little rhinestones around the neckline in the back just because I'm a little extra like that. I mean, why stop at the shoulder seam? Seems silly to me, <laughs> seems silly to me. <laughs> Anyways, um, so it's got a high-low to it, which I don't know, maybe I did know that. It's definitely an oversized relax fit just in general, but I did also size up one, so I got a 2X in it, so it's a little oversized on me, not like super oversized, but I don't like my sweaters to be super, I mean, I don't like any of my clothing to be super tight fitting, let's be honest, but like this was originally an $80 sweater, and I got it for $47.40 plus 5% from Rakuten that I will be getting from them, but like for a nice new sweater like this, I don't mind paying that price and it feels so high quality. And then another item here, I died. Like I said, I just, I remembered Mod Cloth. I used to love, especially their prints. They were kind of quirky. They were cute. Apples? Apples? Cardigan? You guys, I freaked out. I didn't realize this had pockets, first off, until I was filming the try-on for this, but like, so heavy duty. Like, this is the type of thing that I feel like I would have ordered back in undergrad for the exact same price that I paid today, and it would have been just like that cheap, thin, kind of a sad sweater material. Like, it, you shouldn't even be able to call it a sweater material. You're only saying that because it's in the shape and build of a cardigan, but the actual material no warmth will be provided. <laughs> but this is like, I could use this as a blanket. It is glorious. I don't know, I feel like a lot of you know this, but I worked in high school, I think maybe my last two years of high school, I worked at an Apple house. Maybe it was actually my last three, four years? I don't know. I worked for many years at an Apple house where, you know, we had an orchard and we sold apples and all that stuff. So I just, I don't know, I have fond 
memories of apples and I like apples they're delicious and then I mean the fact that it's a cardigan like hi hello my name is Cassie do I need to give my cardigan addiction introduction spiel um I love cardigans and sweaters and like I said this is just glorious it's a beautiful deep forest green it's got the apples some of them are sliced in half the print is it's delicious in the most adorable of ways, like I said once again, it is oversized on me. Got it in a 2X, could have gotten a 1X, but like, listen, I'm not wearing cardigans and sweaters to show off my figure, okay? Heck, most of the clothes I own, I'm not wearing to show off my figure. So like, let's just, let's just be clear about that. But that cardigan was cheaper than the sweater. Originally, it was a $75 cardigan, but I got it for 45 bucks. What? for a blanket cardigan? Yeah, I'm okay with that. And I am also so okay with this next item, you guys. I was so scared this wasn't gonna fit because the sizing was different. You know, you always gotta check sizing charts on websites, but especially sites like ModCloth where they get items from different makers and the sizing on this next item was Australian. And I'm like, oh my God. If I get this wrong, I'm gonna be so bummed because I think I was like waffling between this size and the size down, but the size down was sold out. So I was like, okay, so either I get this and it's gonna be super oversized on me or nothing. Well, I was wrong. This actually fits me so well. It's a little bit baggy in the waist, but I don't care. I can belt it, whatever, or I can just wear it as it is. This fits me so perfectly and the print, are you kidding me? Yes. I did use that pun. Look at this perfect print. Shut up, I get to use the puns when I'm showing off this dress. Look at this dress, it is glorious. So like I said, this is a mod cloth in collaboration with Princess Highway. So I got it in on Australian 20 and thankfully it fits so nicely. I think the sleeves are meant to be like kind of an almost oversized flare, but if you have boss arms like myself, you would know that many clothing that is meant to be oversized, it actually just fits you. <laughs> So that's kind of the case with these sleeves, which I'm super happy about because this is like just canvas material. So there's no stretch to this. That's why I was so worried because it's like, there's no give or take here. It either will fit me or it will not. So the sleeves are perfect. The print is perfect. I love the neckline. It's open, but like, you know, it's not plunging or anything. It's not too tight. Like I said, the waist is a bit large on me, but I'm okay with it. Like heck, I could wear this to Thanksgiving and not have to worry about you know if I'm gonna have more than one food baby if I want to have triplets this year that's my prerogative prerogative <laughs> I can't be stopped I thought that this dress had pockets it does not which is a bit of a bummer but I'm gonna let it slide because otherwise this dress is everything it's a little longer than I typically go for in my dresses but like I don't care whatever add a little variation to my wardrobe why don't you and this print, I just cannot get over this print. It is so happy, but it's black, which I love. You know, I love blacks and navies, and it's just, it's, look at these cats, it's so cute. So there's the makeup clothing jewelry. You know, that's, I feel like, mostly what people watch me for. If you don't care about other facets of my life, like things that I do on my Collex channel, my second channel, you can probably click out, but like, I think you should stick around anyways. Don't you wanna learn more about the things, other things I enjoy? I don't know, maybe, maybe not, okay, well. Barnes & Noble, treated myself to some manga. I love manga, I have always loved manga since I was a kid, and I have continued to love my manga. <laughs> and one series that I'm currently, I've been obsessed with it for like the past year or whenever it was that I first found it. Maybe it hasn't even been a year yet, but like Jujutsu Kaisen, yes. If you like a good, I don't even know what this would be considered. Supernatural, but like slice of life, but like dark magical powers with curses and stuff like I don't know pause the video and read that and maybe you'll be interested I watched the anime first and then I knew I needed to read the manga and I had ordered all of the manga except 
for volume one. And this was like way back in, I don't know, May, April, June, whenever it was that I had finished the anime. The first season of it anyways. Oh, I can't wait for the movie to come out in December. And then season two, whenever that's gonna air. But yeah, essentially all of the volumes, like this blew up with the anime, this series. And so it was all on back order, this series incredible. I mean, that's how popular it is. And I think it's popular for a reason, but like one volume one was sold out so much that you couldn't even back order it from Barnes and Noble. And on Amazon, they were selling it for like double. And I was like, you know what? Time will pass and I'll be able to order this normally. So I finally saw that volume one was available for purchase normally. Plus Barnes and Noble was doing a, I don't know if they labeled it as like a Black Friday thing, like an early Black Friday or early holiday type sale, but they were doing 10% off of everything plus my percentage off from Rakuten, so I was like, tis the time. So really excited to throw myself back to volume one. I really like the author's style of artwork. So there's our main character there, Yuji, and yeah, you can just see it. it's just, it's a bit sketchier than I usually like with my manga artwork, but like it really works with the action scenes to like show the action and make it easy for me to follow. Cause I can't, a lot of action manga and whatnot, I cannot follow. <laughs> it's, it's too messy or I don't know. Either way, I love the artist, I love the series, and I'm very excited to have that one now. And then a series that I kind of fell off of, My Hero Academia, I've talked about this before, but like, I, I think I just overloaded on it when I became obsessed and then I needed a break, you know? But a lot of you have said like, Cassie, I know I felt the same way, but like, you've got to get back into it. Like the manga, it is, it's hopping off. It's so good. And I'm like, you know what? I've, I've read snippets here and there, so I know where it is right now. And I do like that where it is right now, or at least where I had seen up to. So I'm like, you know what? Let me fill it all in. Yeah. So I had up to volume 23. Now I have got up to volume 28. I love Horikoshi's artwork style. He makes action sequences pretty easy to follow, but like his art is so good. He's gotten so good with this manga. I love being able to see a manga artist's evolution over time, you know, from their first volume to their later volumes. If you don't follow Horikoshi on Twitter, his Twitter sketches, more like Twitter masterpieces, they're so pure and funny and just delightful. So, I mean, anyways, My Hero Academia. I've got a lot to read and catch up on, and I'm very excited about it. And then last but not least, this is actually very exciting from GameStop. As I said, I do have a second channel. This is apparently news to some people. I've had it for quite a while now, but uh, I've always got it linked down below. You can check it out if you enjoy collecting things, if you enjoy Pokemon, that sort of stuff. Maybe you might want to give it a shot. People tell me that they like watching my videos over there anyways, because I'm very happy when I do these videos, because I, I really Really, I love the stuff that I do over on that channel. But yeah, I thought that this product completely passed me by. I thought I missed out and I was really sad about it. Cause we are on diffusion strike now with Pokemon cards and uh, I still hadn't gotten my products from Evolving Skies that I wanted to get, you know? With most of the new sets of Pokemon cards that come out, I like to treat myself to one of each product, you know? I can get an Elite Trainer box, I can get a Booster box, I can get a fill-in-the-blank collection box, get the promo cards, I get a chance at getting those rare cards, you know? And if not, I'll just buy the cards individually online if they're a card that I really want that I didn't pull myself. But I was not able to get my hand, I mean, I've all Skies was just crazy to try and get your hands on. Sorry, the light is going a little crazy here at the sunset. I mean, it's not even 4 p.m., but okay. But yeah, pre-ordering was insane. If you were even able to pre-order for Evolving Skies, I mean, that's just how it's been with Pokemon in general, but especially Evolving Skies because, I mean, the evolutions, come on. And I was able to get a lot of stuff pre-ordered for that set except for the elite trainer boxes. And I love getting the elite trainer boxes. It's a lot of like extra stuff for me. You know, I don't need the stuff that helps you actually play the card game because I don't actually play the card game. I just like to collect the cards. Um, but I like having the boxes because they're the perfect size to store cards, like my extras and whatnot. And um, I didn't think I was ever gonna be able to get the elite trainer boxes. 
expenses because online you had to pay at least double for them if you wanted to get them and I'm just not willing to do that especially for a product like I said where I don't use everything that comes in the product and then I was just randomly checking I think I was checking on GameStop for a completely different Pokemon product and then I saw they had these elite trainer boxes in stock and I was a little bummed because there's two of them for Evolving Skies. And they said you can't choose which one you get, you know? If you order two, it doesn't guarantee that you're gonna get the two different artworks. You might get two of the same artwork. And I was like, you know what? That is a risk I'm willing to take. I ordered two of them and they sent- oh, you can't tell. <laughs> I ordered two of them and they sent me the two different artworks! I am- so tickled. I was so happy when I cracked open my GameStop box and I saw the two different evolution sets on here. I mean, that is just everything I wanted and like I said, I'm just, I'm so happy. Now I've got my Evolving Skies booklet with the card set in it that I can look at. I've got a chance at getting some of those alt arts of the evolutions, and I'm just so, so happy that I was able to get these products. And I'm especially excited excited that I was able to get them with cash back from Rack 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. That was everything. Uh, it was definitely a combined haul. You know, all of my interests here, or at least a lot of my interests combined. I think those are the most fun kinds of hauls personally myself, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do not forget to sign up for Rakuten using my link down below. Click that first link in the description box. Get your holiday $40 bonus with your first qualifying purchase. So there's, there's no way you could ever regret signing up for Rakuten. It is literally just money back in your pocket, like I said, for the shopping that you already do. Get your bonus. Happy holidays and happy shopping. Happy cash back to ya. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you agree with me on the things that I hauled or do you like them just as much? Have you had the same kind of experience with mod cloth? Like maybe I've inspired you to go check them out again because at least based on the few things that I purchased from mod cloth, I'm definitely gonna be going back and seeing if, well, at least during their sale times. <laughs> I'm gonna be checking out their site a lot more often now. So thank you to Rakuten for sponsoring for the millionth time. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video, all that good stuff in the comments below and by giving the video a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap the notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel or my second channel. Like I said, I'd love to have you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. Happy holidays. And until next time, stay well until then. Bye.